Toxoplasmosis is a parasitic infection caused by a microscopic organism that primarily affects individuals with weakened immune systems, such as those living with HIV or AIDS. In the fight against toxoplasmosis, a vital drug called Daraprim entered the scene. Originally developed as a treatment for malaria, Daraprim found a secondary purpose in combating toxoplasmosis. It became a lifeline for individuals vulnerable to the infection, offering relief and improving their quality of life. However, the story took an unexpected turn. Overnight, the price of Daraprim skyrocketed, causing shockwaves throughout the pharmaceutical industry and beyond. The sudden price increase created a storm of controversy, raising crucial questions about morality, accessibility, and fairness in drug pricing. Martin Shkreli, the CEO of Turing Pharmaceuticals at the time, found himself at the center of this maelstrom. His decision to drastically raise the price of Daraprim drew public outcry and intense scrutiny. The scandal not only highlighted the ethical implications of exorbitant drug pricing, but also exposed the vulnerabilities within the healthcare system. Beyond the immediate aftermath, the Turing Pharmaceuticals scandal left a lasting impact on the industry. It sparked a national dialogue and led to a deeper examination of pharmaceutical practices. The incident served as a catalyst for discussions on fair pricing, patient access to medications, and the need for transparency in the pharmaceutical world. As we delve into the whole story of the Turing Pharmaceuticals scandal, we'll uncover the consequences faced by Martin Shkreli and explore the lessons learned from this controversial chapter. Pharmaceutical executive Martin Shkreli, characterized by some as public enemy number one. The brash young hedge fund investor who shot to infamy by selling life-saving medicines at stratospheric prices. At this price, Daraprim is still actually on the low end of what orphan drugs cost. All of this attention and doctors and patient groups saying they can't access this drug, are you going to change the price? No. Martin Shkreli, the central figure in the Turing pharmaceutical scandal, was born on March 17, 1983, in the vibrant city of Brooklyn, New York. From an early age, Shkreli exhibited a remarkable entrepreneurial spirit and a deep curiosity for the world of finance and business. After graduating from high school, Shkreli enrolled at the Baruch College in 2001, where he delved into the realm of business administration. His studies at Baruch College, spanning several years, provided him with a solid understanding of the principles of finance and business strategy. Armed with this education and an insatiable hunger for success, Shkreli embarked on his entrepreneurial journey. In 2006, at a remarkably young age, he founded his first hedge fund, Elia Capital, showcasing his uncanny ability to navigate the complex world of finance. However, in 2007, Lehman Brothers sued Elia Capital in New York State Court for failing to cover a put option transaction in which Shkreli bet the wrong way on a broad market decline. When the stocks rose, Shkreli did not have the money to cover his losses. In October of 2007, Lehman Brothers won a 2.3 million default judgment against Shkreli and Elia but Lehman collapsed before it could collect on the ruling. To know how Lehman Brothers, one of the largest investment firms, collapsed, you can check out our video on the top right or with the link down below. Without paying a single cent to Lehman Brothers, the success of Elia Capital drew attention from industry insiders and positioned Shkreli as a rising star in the financial realm. However, his ambitions extended beyond finance alone, leading him to venture into the biopharmaceutical industry. In 2011, Shkreli founded Retrofin, a biopharmaceutical company dedicated to developing treatments for rare diseases. His involvement in the healthcare sector marked a pivotal moment in his career, setting the stage for the events that would unfold at Turing Pharmaceuticals. 
Understanding Martin Shkreli's background, from his birth in 1983 to his educational milestones, as well as the founding of Ilya Capital and Retrofin, provides crucial insight into his journey and the experiences that shaped his approach to business. As we delve deeper into the Turing Pharmaceuticals scandal, it becomes evident that the timeline of these events played a significant role in the decisions that would ultimately lead to the controversy and public outcry surrounding the price hike of Daraprim. In February of 2015, Shkreli founded Turing Pharmaceuticals, after his departure from Retrofin. Just a few months later, a pivotal event occurred in the unfolding story of the Turing Pharmaceuticals scandal. It was during this time that Turing Pharmaceuticals, under the leadership of Martin Shkreli, acquired the rights to a drug called Daraprim. Daraprim, originally developed in the 1950s, is a medication vital in the treatment of a parasitic infection known as toxoplasmosis. With its long history and established efficacy, Daraprim had become an essential resource for HIV patients suffering from this debilitating condition. Prior to the acquisition, the drug was owned by another pharmaceutical company called Impax Laboratories. In a complex deal, Turing Pharmaceuticals purchased the exclusive rights to Daraprim, granting them the sole authority to manufacture and distribute this medication. On September 21, 2015, the public was met with a shocking announcement. Turing Pharmaceuticals implemented a drastic and controversial price increase for Daraprim. Overnight, the cost of a single Daraprim pill surged from $13.50 to a jaw-dropping $750, representing an increase of more than 5,000%. The announcement sent shockwaves throughout the healthcare industry and captured the attention of the public and media alike. Patients, healthcare providers, and advocacy groups voiced their outrage at the sudden and exorbitant price jump. The price increase ignited a fierce debate on several fronts. Ethical concerns arose regarding the accessibility and affordability of life-saving medications particularly for vulnerable patient populations who relied on Daraprim to combat toxoplasmosis. As the public outcry grew louder and the controversy surrounding the Turing Pharmaceuticals scandal intensified, Martin Shkreli, the CEO at the center of the storm, found himself defending this drastic price increase of Daraprim. Shkreli asserted that the price hike was a necessary move to ensure the financial sustainability of Turing Pharmaceuticals. He argued that the previous price of Daraprim was insufficient to cover the costs of production, distribution, and future research and development efforts. Some of Shkreli's justifications for the price increase were met with skepticism and outrage. Critics questioned the significant disparity between the production costs and the inflated price of Daraprim, suggesting that it was driven more by profit-seeking motives than legitimate financial necessities. Martin Shkreli's unapologetic attitude during interviews and public appearances further fueled this public outrage. What do you say to that pregnant woman who might have AIDS, no income, and she needs Daraprim in order to survive? On the advice of counsel, I invoke my Fifth Amendment privilege against self-incrimination and respectfully decline to answer your question. Do you think you've done anything wrong? On the advice of counsel, I invoke my Fifth Amendment privilege against self-incrimination and respectfully decline to answer your question. His reputation took a considerable hit and his actions served as a catalyst for discussions on the ethics of drug pricing, the affordability of medications, and the responsibilities of pharmaceutical executives. Besides Martin Shkreli, there is another captivating figure that we must discuss, and this is Elizabeth Holmes, the founder of Theranos. With the link down below, or on the top right, you can explore the fascinating story of Elizabeth Holmes' Theranos scandal and uncover the shocking details of this high-profile deception. However, it is essential to acknowledge that public perception of Shkreli and his justifications for the price increase were varied. While some saw his actions as emblematic of a broken healthcare system, 
others admired his business acumen and entrepreneurial spirit. In December of 2015, just a few months after the Daraprim price increase, Martin Shkreli was arrested by federal authorities. The charges brought against him were unrelated to the price hike, but instead focused on securities fraud and other financial crimes. Shkreli faced a highly publicized trial, during which evidence was presented that implicated him in fraudulent activities related to hedge funds and investment schemes. The trial captured media attention and became a symbol of unethical business practices. In August of 2017, Martin Shkreli was found guilty on multiple counts of securities fraud and conspiracy. He was subsequently sentenced to seven years in prison at the age of 34. Beyond the prison sentence, Shkreli faced additional consequences in the business world, where this scandal prompted his resignation as CEO of Touring Pharmaceuticals and led to his expulsion from various professional and industry associations. While serving his prison sentence, Shkreli's bad reputation continued to generate media attention. His actions and their repercussions became a cautionary tale and a topic of discussion in the realms of business ethics, pharmaceutical practices, and corporate accountability. The Martin Shkreli case serves as a reminder of the legal and personal consequences that can arise from unethical business practices and the abuse of power. It highlights the importance of integrity, transparency, and ethical decision-making within the pharmaceutical industry and so far beyond. In response to the Turing Pharmaceutical scandal, there were calls for greater regulation and oversight of drug pricing practices. Policymakers and advocacy groups sought to explore potential solutions to prevent similar price gouging incidents in the future and ensure that essential medications remain accessible to those in need. Additionally, the scandal underscored the significance of corporate responsibility. Pharmaceutical companies were urged to prioritize the welfare of patients and society as a whole, striking a delicate balance between financial success and ethical conduct. At the time of recording this video, the cost of Daraprim continues to exceed affordability limits even with Shkreli behind bars. Nevertheless, several companies have introduced alternative medications with comparable applications to Daraprim, offering a more affordable pricing structure. The Martin Shkreli case served as a wake-up call for the pharmaceutical industry highlighting the need for more patient-centered approaches and sustainable pricing strategies. It fueled efforts to reevaluate existing regulations as well as foster a climate of accountability within this sector. While significant challenges still remain, this incident sparked a collective reflection on the complexities and shortcomings of the current healthcare system. It emphasized the necessity of collaboration among stakeholders, including policymakers, industry leaders, healthcare providers, and patient advocates, in order to properly address these issues effectively.